Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything from tech to films and all the fun stuff in between. I hope you guys are staying safe and staying indoors as that is the best way to prevent the spread of this coronavirus. So in today's video, let's do something fun. It's been two weeks in lockdown for me and there is no better way to spend it other than being with family or watching movies. Movies for me is more than just a hobby or a mere time pass. I'm really passionate about them. And even today, I watch at least a movie or an episode of a TV series every single day. In today's video, I want to list out my favorite movies, which I watch over and over. Quite a lot of films on this list are not blockbusters or even on most people's bucket list. But for me, they provided the utmost enjoyment and stayed memorable that I wouldn't mind watching them over and over. So let's get on with this list. First up is The Amazing Interstellar. I'm a huge sci-fi fan and I love watching movies which show realistic things which probably are not going to be possible in our lifetimes and Interstellar tops that list. Suspended animation, space travel, wormholes, time dilation, relativity, interstellar travel. This film covers all of those in the most realistic way possible. At the same time, keeping a very heartfelt father-daughter relationship story at its core. Christopher Nolan sure gave us one of the best sci-fi thrillers ever made. And I wishfully hope that he makes another one soon. I lost the count of number of times I've watched this film. First I've seen it in cinemas, then I bought the HD version of it early on iTunes release and I also hunted down an unopened collector's edition copy on the internet. So you see how seriously I love this movie. Next one is Disney's Aladdin. I really have so many fond memories related to this film that I did not watch any of his sequels as I didn't want to ruin what the first one meant to me. I even was very skeptical on watching Will Smith's live action adaptation of the same film as again I didn't want to ruin what the initial original Aladdin meant to me. The whole new world song is still on my playlist. And watching this movie even today brings back the best of my childhood memories. Next is Carl Sagan's amazing film Contact. Another sci-fi. Guys, there will be a few from this genre on my list, so please bear with me. Fun fact, when I first saw the trailer at the cinemas as a teenager, I recollect the trailer showing Jodie Foster getting all hyped up about a signal. It showcases several people talking about stuff. And that's it. The teenager in me thought, ah, this must be boring and went to see Batman and Robin instead. Guys, Batman and Robin. Well, that's how our teenage brains worked, right? Actually, we wanted more action, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of films. But luckily, when I got a chance to watch this film years later, it went straight into my collection of the, my most favorite films. I here have the DVD as well as the digital copy on iTunes. This film gives us a realistic glimpse at how the first contact from an alien civilization would be like. And Jodie Foster nailed her part as the eager person searching for answers. Special mention to Matthew McConaughey. Again, he gets featured in this sci-fi as well as Interstellar. And he perfectly played the man with the cloth, providing contradictive views to the scientific discovery. Next is again Disney with an amazing film which is not about fairies or princesses. It's Atlantis The Lost Empire. I simply love this film and the animation and the amazing storyline. I love the characterization and the amazing adventure it packs. Sadly this film did not do as expected as I read somewhere that the marketing campaign wasn't effective in showing the full potential of this film. But for me, this remains a classic and I can still blindly pick up this film even today and have an amazing time. I love this film so much that I honestly lost count of how many times I saw this film till now. Next is Zack Snyder's Watchmen. 
I know many didn't like this film due to its confusing origin and extremely lengthy duration, but for me, this is one of the best superhero films ever made. Based on a graphic novel written by Alan Moore, this film really captures the essence of an alternate universe full of ordinary people stepping up to become superheroes and fight crime. The stylized action sequences are amongst the best ever choreographed. And Rorschach, wow, he's one of the best anti-heroes ever. Wish they make a standalone film just with him. From one graphic novel adaptation to next, this next one on my list is, again, another graphic novel adaptation, Sin City. I'm going to list both one and two as my faves. What can I say? When I first saw this film at cinemas, I was utterly blown away. That stylized picturization, clever dialogue, extremely satisfying action sequences, and the insanely gorgeous female cast makes this movie super fun to watch any number of times. And who can forget Jessica Alba's dance here? The second part was released nine years later and Miss Alba looked even hotter in the second one. Hit a like if you agree with me. Serious films, but now next let's lighten the mood a little. The next entry is the beloved childhood comic adaptation Asterix and Obelix Mission Cleopatra. I used to love the comics and would never miss an opportunity of reading one as they were insanely expensive to buy in my country. I even remember staying late after school and reading friends copies as many wouldn't lend it because they were expensive. And then years later I did get the complete animated DVD box set and also saw several real life adaptations mostly done by French cinema. But out of all of them Mission Cleopatra stands out. Due to its extremely funny narration, perfect casting, fun action sequences and an insanely gorgeous Monica Bellucci as the infamous Queen Cleopatra. I mean she just sizzles in every scene that she's in. A bit of advice here guys, watch the original French version with English subtitles as opposed to the dubbed English version. The original is much more fun as the dubbed version loses various bits of originality in translation. Still staying on comedies, next is Dracula Dead and Loving It, Mel Brooks parody about the classic vampire tale. This film always has me in chuckles. Leslie Nelson nails his part as the legendary Dracula with an amazing supporting cast who all act their part perfectly. The comedy is just simple and perfect and doesn't try too hard to make you laugh. Special mention to Ranfield who is absolutely hilarious and Amy as back as Mina for being dropped at gorgeous. This one is hard to find in the UK, so I bought one from America. From vampires to mummies. The next one on my list is the movie, The Mummy. This is the Brendan Fraser version and not the Tom Cruise one. The 1999 version had so much going for it. It had fun, action, adventure, comedy, Rachel Weisz, unlike Tom Cruise's reboot which had none of them. I remember seeing this movie so many times and when it got re-released a few years later, we all went to see it again. Let's move back to sci-fi again for the next two entries. First is Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence starter Passengers. What I love the most about this film is that futuristic interstellar travel along with long suspended animation. Most movies touch this concept briefly, but the possibility of going to sleep and waking up hundreds of years later in the future would be such a remarkable achievement. That and come on, getting to spend your lifetime on a seven star luxury spaceship with a gorgeous girl, taking spacewalks through the stars. It's just a beautiful dream on its own, right? Wouldn't like the malfunction bit though, because that would be extremely difficult to survive. Next film is The Amazing Martian. Being marooned all by yourself is not the best choice, but the funny script and all that science stuff makes this so enjoyable. Also, the film banks closely on scientific accuracy, which makes it even more interesting to watch. 
Let's do one more last film on this list. And if this video gets enough likes and views, I will make another one. I have 38 films on this list, which is also listed on IMDb. But to keep the video's length on the check, let's do one last one. And the last one is going to be Guy Ritchie's amazing, amazing take on Baker Street's famous sleuth, Sherlock Holmes. Seriously, I've seen so many adaptations of the famous detective and Guy Ritchie's version is by far my most favorite. Robert Downey Jr. just owns this role to perfection and so does Jude Law as his sidekick, Dr. Watson. And the entire Guy Ritchie's stylish take on this with an amazing storyline makes this film so enjoyable that you can watch it any number of times. The second one is all right as well, but it's not as good as the first one for me. And come on, Guy Ritchie, I think it's time. Give us a third one already. We need more of Sherlock and Dr. Watson's amazing adventures together. So that's it for this time, guys. Please do comment down below and let me know which one is your fave and you wouldn't mind it watching over and over. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this. And please do subscribe to my channel as your support is the main thing which can keep this channel going. And finally, please stay home and stay safe, guys. Let's all abide by the rules and restrictions and kick this coronavirus's butt. Thanks a lot for staying until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.